Welcome back to the Learn Dash Bootcamp. With all of our content, our course lessons and topics in order, let's take a look at building quizzes. We'll go over to our Learn Dash section in the menu and we'll click on quizzes. Much like the other screens we've seen, we have all of the quizzes we've created. We have a settings area where we can control the displays as well as the email settings for our quizzes. So we can control the notifications that both admins and users get here. I recommend you spend some time really customizing these emails. And then we have the taxonomies and the post type options that we've seen on the other screens. We also have the actions that allow us to import and export quizzes. There's an extra section here called submitted essays. For any quiz that requires a student to submit an essay, that essay will show up here, as well as who submitted it, the status, the assigned course, the assigned lesson, and the assigned quiz. If we click on a quiz that we've created in the course builder, you'll see the content editor again, where we can add some content. And we have a quiz builder. This is going to look a lot like the course builder, where we have a basic area and we can add new questions. We'll take a closer look at this in the next video. If we go over to our settings area, we'll see the associated course and lesson for our quiz and any quiz prerequisites. Revealing our tooltip shows that we can make this quiz available only if students have taken previous quizzes. We can also make this quiz available only to registered users. This option is especially useful if administering quizzes via short codes on non-course pages, or if your course is open, but you only want authenticated users to take the quiz. Next up is the progression and restriction settings. So we can set the passing score here. We can set this to a specific percentage, and if students get below that percentage, they will have to retake the quiz. We can issue a certificate based on this quiz. We can restrict retakes to a certain number. So if we only want students to retake the quiz once or three times, we can do that. And we can even restrict retries to specific types of users like registered or anonymous. We can also make it so students have to take all of the questions in order to complete the quiz. So if we make it so that a passing score is 60%, and they get the first 60% of the quiz right, they still have to complete the rest of the quiz in order for it to be marked complete. And the last setting under this area is a time limit. So we can set a time limit for the quiz. There's also display and content options. So quiz materials, we can choose to auto start the quiz. So it'll start without a button. We can choose how we want the questions to be displayed, one at a time or all at once. We can display the results at the end or results after each submitted answer. So we can tell the students immediately if they got the question right, or we can wait until the end and give them a summary of all the questions they got right and wrong. We can also show an overview table. This is an outline of the quiz before students take the quiz. We can set custom ordering so we could sort by category or randomize the order. The category is especially helpful for question banks. So if you have a bunch of questions in a mathematics category, you can sort them by category here. And then there are additional question options. So any enabled elements below this option will be displayed in each question. So if we want to display the point value, category, position, numbering, the number of answers, or the randomized answers where we want to randomize the answers for multiple choice questions, we can choose all of that here. Finally, we could choose to show the quiz title if we'd like. The next section is the results page display. So we can control how the result page looks. We can show messages based on the score. So from 0%, we can show a message and we can add as many gradations as we want here. So if we want to do from 0 to 50%, from 50 to 60%, et cetera, we can do that here. We can also decide to show the restart quiz button. 
We can customize the result display so we could show overall score, number of correct answers, but we can also show the average score and the category score if we want to give students that information. And we can show custom answer feedback. So we can show custom feedback for correct and correct messages, correct and correct answer marks, and more. Finally, we have the administrative and data handling settings. So this will control data handling options, notifications, and templates. We could choose to show custom fields. We can enable this option to gather data from our users before or after the quiz. These fields are going to be non-quiz data specifically to get information about the people who are taking the quiz. We could show the leaderboard to show who has the highest scores. We can show quiz statistics, and then we can customize the email notifications, quiz templates, and finally, we have some advanced settings. So we can choose to save a user's answers into a browser cookie until the quiz is submitted so that if it's a longer quiz or they need to step away, their answers are saved. And then we have associated settings, which have to do with the database table. And it is not recommended you make any changes to this unless you have a specific purpose. So those are all of the quiz settings that we have in the quiz builder go ahead and update this and then in the next video we will look at the question options for our quizzes.